Hello guys, welcome back to the Eternal Knowledge channel. Today we are going to see about the most, I think it's little bit complicated for little beginners. So it is one of the concept of the function. It is called recursive function. Okay, let's see what is recursive function in theory and after us we are got into the example. C++ recursion. When the function calls within the same function, not the point when the function called within the same function it is known as recursion the function which calls the same function is known as recursion like a function that calls itself and does not perform any task after function call is call is known as tail recursion in tail recursion we generally call the same function with the return statement guys we can get a conclusion of recursive function like a function that calls itself. Note the point, a function that calls itself is known as recursive function. And the technique is known as recursion. That's all guys. So this is the simple concept of our understanding of recursion function. Recursion function and the recursion function calling self function. I think you get a little bit confused. Let's when we enter into the example, you can get understand easily, okay guys? Let's enter into the example. Like we are now going to create a factorial of a number program. So let's declare a variable like number. And we are going into the square question like enter a number. Solve. Guys, follow with me or you will get confused, okay? In num and you are getting that and see how like the next line printing here of number Getting the factorial of a number like what is that number? I just forgot the number. What is it? Num like is equal to and we are calling the function. Okay, so just leave this. We are afterwards calling the call the function. Let's create the function for recursion. Now we are going to create a recursive function. Okay, by creating, uh, let's name the function as factorial, factorial, okay. Let's declare a variable inside the like parameter. This is called a parameter. When we declared in another function except the main function, that is called a parameter, guys. This is called a parameter. If you don't know about function, then click the video in the description so you can understand what is function. Okay, let's create recursive function. It's a factorial. We, if, you, if you need to fully understand what is recursion or recursive function, you need to also know about, you must know about if else statement, okay? We are going to use if statement like if, and the condition was if a greater than one, then it will be true and enter into the if condition, if statement. And in this, we are going to use return return what is going to return like a a the multiple of factorial this is the main concept of the recursion function guys recursive function or recursion function okay question is called as method okay a minus one it will get reduced each time it will enter into the if and in else we are going to write as Zero. Sorry, 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 sorry. Return one. Okay. Yeah, guys. Now we are we have created recursive function. Okay. Now I will tell you how it works. Okay. Let's copy this because if you need to call the function after the oh, main function, you need to declare before the main function so it will, the compiler can understand or identify it. Okay. Now we are again going to 
call like factorial four and we are getting num sending the num variable into this okay guys let's run and afterwards i will explain you okay let's run this program and you can get Sorry, the spelling is wrong but okay it's not a big problem let's compile this and see mm. let's write number five okay five guys i'm going to enter a number five let's i will zoom it okay five when i enter the five the factorial of a number is 120 okay guys i think the result was shown correctly so let's see with the pictorial understanding guys first note this okay we first get declare a variable after we display the question and we get input by using c in and after again we are going to uh, like display the factor of a number like we are calling the function factorial in this function and in this function the variable like num variable the num value was 5 so it will enter into this like 5 and after it also declares uh, we know that 5 is greater than 1 so it will enter into the if statement in this if statement it will play as a role of 5 multiple of uh, we know that 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4 so it will display as 5 4 are 20 we know that okay that's all guys just like it will again uh, until it will the number was 5 was uh, when it entered into is equal to 1 it will enter into else okay I think you got a little bit confused let's see with the ah uh, no no you get little bit understanding okay sorry not confusing okay let's enter into the pictorial description guys sorry this is not fine factorial it's a factorial and wait in this fact we declare a like wait guys i will put double screen sorry see this guys like in this the function factorial was a is 5 and inside this a it will enter into the tick the condition in if block and if 5 is greater than 1 so it will enter into the if statement in this if statement it will take us 5 factorial so it will enter the 5 as a and 4 uh, as we already guessed so again it will be 20 and it will go on into this and this 5 become this like this 5 become 4 okay this 4 okay again it will call the factorial and it will enter into this and 4 and 4 like greater than 1 so again it entered this and become 3 and again 3 and again 2 and again 1 then so 1 is not greater than 1 so it will enter the else and return 1 and it will finally multiply as a result of like 120 5 4 is so 24 guys 24 into 5 is equal to 120 and again 124 24 6 2 and with totally get a conclusion of 120 guys i think that's all i think uh, you can now understand it very well if you still don't understand kindly comment i will teach you okay okay i think okay bye bye see you in the next video